What's up guys, it's me Grand Beats, and I'm here to break down the theme song I made for Zreg's web series Centricide. When Dreg first came to me and asked me to produce this theme song, I automatically defaulted back to EDM, which is the, the sort of baseline of my production. So I went through some of the presets that I had made in Serum, and I came across this preset that I made that was based on some Eliminate production styles. That pluck on its own, automated, sounded like this. Obviously that's very bland on its own, so to give it a bit of life and to make it feel a bit more alive, I added some automation for its pitch. And then a few other little things for the sake of liveliness in the track, like this little peak to the LFO rate. And then these reverse reverb swooshes that kind of just breathe air into the whole track. As far as processing on this, there isn't too much. There's just some basic compression, some EQ, some reverb, a filter just giving me some high pass control at certain points in the track, a Valhalla room reverb, which was used for those tail swooshes, and then a mute switch, which is just a muted peak controller. This lets me fully cut out the audio so I can better control the sound in different breaks. It was mainly used in this section right here. It just kills the audio so the tail doesn't bleed into the next section of the track. Once that idea was down, I moved on to the next most important part of any EDM track, the sub bass. I used a basic sine wave, again in Serum, and then I wrote the melody that ended up becoming the main progression for the track. Again, there's nothing too special here. I added guitar rig for some processing, an isotope vinyl to give it a bit of a grittier sound in the sub, and then some EQ to just kind of control the low end, bring it in and out, and a filter to control different areas. Then I use that exact same melody on top to create the leads. These leads are actually basses that are pitched up a full octave. I did that instead of using a regular lead because I wanted a bit of a dirtier, more aggressive sound that had some more warmth in the mid-tones and by using a bass and pitching it up, you kind of get a different sort of harmonic feel in the track. Uh, this first lead is actually very heavily processed with no effects, it sounds like this. But with effects, it sounds like this. For that, I added couple different EQs, one cutting out lows, one boosting the highs, a really highly mixed in compression distortion EQ plugin, Devil Lock by Sound Toys, highly recommend. And then another EQ to kind of boost that mid tone again, which I really wanted to emphasize with these two leads. The second lead is a little bit less processed, but still is very important. The main effects come from Effectrix, where I added some bit crush and some phaser, just for the sake of giving a bit more energy to that portion of the track and kind of making it feel a little bit more aggressive again. All together, those leads sound like this. Before moving on to the drums, the last few things to mention would be these two little fills before the drop. There's a short cashmere fill. And then the signature cowbell fill, which you've heard in every single one of the productions I've done for Shreg. For drums, I wanted a really basic house pattern to kind of go along with that bass house sort of feel that we've created in the first half. So I started with a cashmere kick, four to the floor. Cashmere makes phenomenal sound packs, and that's where I go to for a lot of different sounds. To really emphasize that kick though, because I really wanted it to punch through in a relatively crowded mix, I added this ride drum sample to kind of punch out the high end a little bit. The clap comes from a Jonas Aiden sound pack from his track Meet You. 
And then the last rhythmic element is I had chopped up a couple different top loops to build the exact rhythmic progression that I wanted to kind of fit with the track. When you play all of that together, you get some great rhythm. The final element would be a few different fills, effects, and different little uh, flourishes to kind of add a little bit more ambiance to the track. We have a mid impact, again from the Cashmere sound pack. A crash, again from a Cashmere sound pack. And then a few more fills. The very last thing for this track would be Dreg's vocals. So he came in to track these vocals. Uh, we cut them all up and really wanted them to sound very distorted and processed to go along with the EDM feel of the song. So with no effects, his vocals sound like this. We got to get rid of the centrists. But with effects, we add a ton of sidechain, a ton of compression, some EQ, some DS, and you get this. We got to get rid of the centrists. You'll obviously notice that the track is clipping quite heavily, but I kind of liked that digital distortion sound that started to come in as the vocals became more and more processed. Centrists. Centrists. That almost bad quality audio sound sort of really added to the track and really made it sound cool. When you play all of those elements together, you get the Centricide theme song. We got to get rid of the centrists. 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 The centrist. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown of the Centricide theme song. If you do like this style of video and want to see more, like this video and subscribe to the channel. And in the comment section down below, let me know what you want me to break down or what sort of production techniques you want to see in the future. Centrists. 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 The centrist. The centrist. Get rid of the centrists.